Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. We're going to continue our look at the 2002 Grade 9 Pascal competition. And we are up to question 19. Where is it? There it is. Question number 19. The natural numbers from 1 to 2100 are entered sequentially in seven columns. So here we have it down here. We go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And that's in column 7. And then we go 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So first thing I'm noticing, uh, even before I finish reading the question, is that column 7 contains all the multiples of 7. And uh, column 1 contains all the numbers that when we divide it by 7, we get a remainder of 1. And I think this is true for all the columns. Column 4 will contain all the numbers that uh, when I divide by 7 give me a remainder of 4. But that's just what I'm noticing. I don't know if we're going to need any pattern like this. Uh, so we have the first three rows shown. The number 2002 occurs in column M and row N. The value of M plus N is. Okay. So I think I figured out the column system. So the column tells me the remainder when I divide by, uh, by 7. Now how about the rows? Okay. Uh, row 1, we get the first seven numbers, and row 2, we get the next seven numbers. So I think we can write a formula out for uh, a, uh, the nth row and the nth column, and that should help us uh, work out this m and this n that they're talking about. So we have our row here, we have column 1 column 2, column 3, column 4, column 5, column 6, and column 7. So row 1, we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Row 2, we go 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It looks like at the end of the row is 7 times the row number. So 7 times 3 is 21, and we can fill in backwards from there. Should be 17 there. And they call it the nth column nth row. So for row n, we should get 7n right here. And 7n minus 1, 7n minus 2, all the way down to 7n minus 6. And if we were to go one further, we'd have 7n minus 7, which is 7n minus 1, and that would go in the space in the previous uh, row. Okay. So, um, how do I get the columns in here? So my nth row, my nth column, well, if I, uh, basically the first column is 1 plus uh, whatever's in column 7, but in the previous row. Plus 1, 7n minus 1, plus 2, and so on. So I think nth row, nth column, We contain the number 7n minus 1 plus m. Then okay, we can do a little check here. Let's pick a random row and column. How about 3, 4? So it should be the 3 minus 1, that's 2, times 7, 14, plus 4, 18. Well, that certainly works. Uh, how about uh, 13? What row and column should 13 be in? Well, what's the lowest multiple of, of 7 below 13? It's going to be 7. So that's 7 times 1. 
So one plus one, we should be in, call, in, in row two. And once I know that, uh, seven, uh, 13 minus the next lowest, mul the next multiple of seven, the greatest multiple of seven below 13 is seven. So that should be 13 minus seven is six. So M is indeed that remainder and we would get two six as the row column for 13. So this certainly works. So now we know, we're, we're told that 2002 is going to be in the nth row, mth column. So let's work out what this is. So m is the remainder when we divide by 7. Well, what's the remainder when we divide 2002 by 7? Uh, 7 goes into 20 twice. 14, 6, bring down the 0. How many times does 7 go into 60? 8, that's 56, and uh, 42. 7 goes in there exactly 6 times. So it is a multiple of 7. So uh, we would think the remainder is 0, but we don't have a column 0, so m is going to be equal to 7 in this case. And uh, what's n minus 1? Well, uh, 2002 minus m over 7 is e plus 1 is what n is. So that's 2002 minus 7 over 7 plus 1. We can grab our calculator if we want to, but we don't really need it. I think it's going to be 286 here. Yeah, so it's 286. So 2002 is going to be in the 286th row and the 7th column. And so we want the value of n plus m, right? Just double check what the question is actually asking for. m plus n, okay. So that's going to be... 286 plus 7, that's going to be 293. And now let's see, is that one of my possible answers? It should be. There it is, D, 293. Okay. So we've got one more question to go in D part, and then we'll get uh, right into the questions in part C. But uh, coming up in the next video is question number 20. So I hope to see you there, and uh, either way, have yourself a wonderful day.